Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to evaluate an integration log x plus 1 into dx. Okay, solution. Integral log of x plus 1 into dx. We can write it as integral 1 into log x plus 1 into dx. So, here we are going to use integral by parts formula. Integral by parts formula. That is integral f of x into g of x into dx equals to f of x into integral g of x dx minus integral of f dash of x into integral g of x dx into dx. Okay. So, we are having 1 and some log, uh, log, uh, logarithmic expression. What we are going to do is, we will use eyelid rule. Inverse, logarithmic, arithmetic, sorry not arithmetic, algebraic, trigonometric and exponential, right? Since logarithmic comes first, so we will consider this log x plus 1 as our f of x and the remaining 1 will be our g of x. Okay, so now we are going to apply integral by parts formula. So, this is equals to f of x, that is log x plus 1 into integral g of x dx, 1 into dx minus integral of f dash of x, log x plus 1 whole prime. Derivative of log x plus 1 into integral 1 into dx into dx. g of x is 1 into dx into dx. Okay. So, this is equal to log x plus 1. Since we know that integral dx is x. So, integral 1 into dx is integral dx and integral dx is x. So, you will write x minus integral of derivative of log x plus 1 is one by x plus 1. Okay. Since we know that log ax plus b d by dx of log ax plus b equals to 1 by ax plus b that is derivative of log x is 1 by x. So you will have Derivative of log, you will get derivative of log ax plus b is 1 by ax plus b into d by dx of ax plus b. So, this is equals to 1 by ax plus b into derivative of ax plus b. So, you are having d by dx of ax which is equal to a into dx by dx, which is equal to a into 1. So, you get a plus b is constant. So, derivative of b is 0, right? So, derivative of log ax plus b is a by ax plus b. Okay. 
So, quotient of x is 1. A equals to 1 and B equals to 1. Substitute A equals to 1 and B equals to 1 in this formula. So, you will get 1 by x plus 1 into integral dx. Integral dx is again x into dx. Okay. Derivative of log x is 1 by x and again you are going to do, you are going to find the inner derivative, inner derivative that is derivative of ax plus b. Okay, don't get confused. So, this becomes log x plus 1 into x x into log x plus 1 minus integral x by x plus 1 into dx. Okay. So, how we can find integral x by x plus 1 dx? How we can find the solution for x by x plus 1 into dx which is equals to integral since you are having plus 1 in the denominator, right? So, we will include plus 1 minus 1 in the numerator. Since you are having plus 1, so we will write plus 1 first and next minus 1 next to the 1 into dx. So, you can split it into two terms. So, this equals to integral x plus 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 into dx. x plus 1 by x plus 1 is 1. So, this equals to integral dx minus integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx. Okay. Since we know that integral dx equals to x and integral ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a into log mod ax plus b plus c constant. Okay. Integral 1 by ax plus b into dx. Not integral ax plus b, sorry. So, this is equals to 1 by a into log mod ax plus b plus constant c. So, this becomes integral dx is x minus integral 1 by ax plus b. So, substitute a equals to 1 and b equals to 1 in the place of a and b in this formula. So, you will get 1 by 1 into log mod ax plus b that is x into 1 is x plus b is 1. So, you will get x minus log x plus 1. You can write under mod or simply you can use the brackets, okay, plus constant C, okay. So, you are having integral x by x plus 1 into dx is x minus log x plus 1 plus C. Now, we are going to substitute it. So, this equals to x log x plus 1 minus of x minus log x plus 1 plus integral constant. Okay, or else you can write inside the brackets. So, this equals to 
x into log x plus 1 minus into x is minus x minus into minus plus log x plus 1 minus into plus is minus c since c is constant you can write it as plus c also okay so therefore integral log x plus 1 into dx equals to x into log x plus 1 minus x plus log x plus 1 plus c. So this completes the integration. So we have seen how to evaluate a logarithmic um, logarithmic integration in this video hope you will understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye